niggas say they on me. Get a green and they say they on me. He'll cake go from one speed. He'll cake got a need for speed. Pushing that cake out, feel that muzzy. Getting them blues, I turn to a V. None of these dudes ain't fucking with me. Pushing that hell can't pass my C. Crash go by me another one. Run up on me, I got hella guns. Get money, got hella funds. Big baby, got hella guns. Clear as a metal on his own road. Border is red like a bone. Hell can't come through, better move. Hell can't go through, so. What is happening, Mozzie Gang? Gang affiliations, man. Game, if you already know this, man. Mr. King Mozzie himself. Back with another video, back with another banger, back with one of the dopest videos I've ever seen in your life. I keep telling you, I'm, one day I'm going to do a video and I'm going to Google the best video you ever seen in your life. And I can guarantee you, I'm going to pop up every time. I'm going to Google it, bro. I'm going to do it on a video. I ain't going to do it on this video, but I, I'm, I'm going to do it on a video. I'm not going to tell you which video. I'm just going to pop up with the video and be like, hey, dope. it's going to be titled, dopest video you ever seen in your life. And send me and I'm going to sit here and I'm going to Google it. You feel me? The Google, the video probably gonna be all 10 seconds. I'm gonna come with no 30 seconds. I'm gonna come over here and talk about it a little bit. I'm gonna Google it. That's gonna be the end of that video. Simple, real short, sweet, to the point. You know what I mean? But uh with that being said, man, make sure I hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that post notification bell so you be notified every single time we post a video. Uh I do have a giveaway, a crazy, crazy giveaway that we got coming up. Uh we're gonna give away a wrap, a free wrap. You're gonna get your car wrapped for free. You know what I'm saying? More than likely, me and Jay the Rapper guy are going to wrap your car. And you can help too if you want to. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be a YouTuber, that's some good content for you. You know what I'm saying? Ain't too many people, not too many, that's going to be able to say they wrap their own car with King Moss and Jay the Rapper guy. So, actually, you're going to be the only one that's going to get to say that. You feel me? But get into the video, man. But so today, uh, I went live, man. I used to go live and tell a lot of story times. And then people said that I need to start making them to actual videos. So I said, you know, you understand me? You understand me? You know, yeah, now why, why not? You feel me? You dig know what I'm saying? So um, this video, this story time, man, is going to be about the time that uh, everybody asked me why I don't go to races. Everybody. They ask, me, oh, my, why you don't go to the races? You don't race your car. You don't do this. You don't do that. And the third. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? Me, y'all love who ride and ride who. Perfectly fine. Absolutely perfectly fine. I have a good explanation and reason why I don't go to races, why I don't go to a lot of car meets at this point anyway, but why I really don't go to the underground races. It's a good reason. It's a good reason. Good explanation why. So, with that being said, man, you know what I'm saying? Make sure my little old Rapunzel is together. You feel me? Because I'm looking at the screen. See, I'm... I'm Y'all can't see my finger, but right here is me. I'm looking at me, but this is y'all. So I'm gonna stop. Cause I don't want to put my hand in y'all face, even though it's on it. Even though it's a camera, I don't want to put my. You you know what I'm saying. So back to the video, man. Y'all know. So the reason why I don't go to car meets, well not car meets, but I don't go to the underground races. The reason why I don't race my car at these little late night races, the little fast and the furious scenes. So. Let's get into it. Okay, so boom. Check me out. One day, a long time ago, this is like right when our whole YouTube career first started out. I don't even know how many subscribers I had this time. I probably had like all like 2,000 subscribers. I definitely wasn't at 10, I can guarantee. I probably wasn't at five. Um, went to a car meet. It's a car meet that's like this Taco Tuesday car meet. Um, it's like a Taco Tuesday car meet long time ago in somewhere in like cedar hill so we go to the car meet right so we with the car club and my guy my guy callaway was standing at so and everybody know let me let me let me backtrack a little bit everybody know like if our car club pull up to event nine times out of ten like we was gonna be late to whatever it was we was gonna be late like a hundred percent late like we gonna be late so half of us was already there. The other half, which was me, him and life, a couple other guys, like we we wasn't there. So we was on our way. So on the way to the to the meet, right? Callaway is standing like cause in the parking lot. So Callaway is standing on the curb. On the end, he's just like, hey, somebody, this guy is saying he wanna race you. So I'm like, bro, I ain't even got, I ain't even got into the meat yet like and it's uh, like i said like i'm not this known at this time i only got like two thousand i definitely wouldn't have five thousand subscribers at this time so it's like i'm still like getting used to like people like hey you mozzie you know what i'm saying so just like okay cool like 
But I'm still thinking like, bro, I just, I just got here. Like, this dude already want to race me like how he, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, cool. But like I said, Hellcats, I don't know what it is. Hellcats is the most hated car of the entire, besides Mustangs, but Hellcats, like, anytime people say, like, oh, how fast your car? I'm right. I didn't beat a Hellcat before. I can, I can beat a Hellcat. Oh, Hellcats, they're so dead. So, so hell, in my opinion, even though people talk about, like, Mustangs being, like, crowd killers, I feel like Hellcats are the most hated cars of them all, bro, because everybody either want to beat a Hellcat or seeing how trash they are. So, either way, but, you know what I'm saying, everybody got their own opinion. So, I'm assuming... The guy wanted to test his car and see if he could like say like, oh, I beat a Hellcat or I beat this YouTuber with a Hellcat. Which I tell people all the time, bro, I'm, I'm not no racer. So I, you're not finna get no clout off my name or I'm not finna be upset like, oh, he beat me in a race. I'm not gonna care, bro. Cause I, like, I, especially at that time, I was 100% I was stopped. Like I ain't had no intake at that time. So like, he wasn't gonna get no reaction out of me. I wasn't gonna record it. He wasn't gonna get no reaction out of me. He wasn't gonna get no clout off my name. So it's just like, um, so for me, like racing just is not my thing. I'm just like, okay. So we pulling in, Callaway stop, I'm like, hey, this guy wanna race. So everybody know. I always smile. Or I'm always laughing. One of the two. Either I'm always smiling or I'm always laughing. Like now. You feel me? So with that being said, uh I was I was pulling in, I'm like, I'm like, okay, cool, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. You feel me? So I'm pulling in. So the guy that stopped me was the guy that wanted to race. He was just like, hey, uh, you know, he he, he want, you know what I'm saying? You want to race? I'm like, I mean, I, I don't really race, bro. He's like, yeah, I got my car right here. So he pointed to his car, he got like a red Mustang. So I'm, you know, again, I always got my smell on my face. So he said, oh, or now pause. Let me pause right there. I guess me smiling in his mind, he took that as I was laughing at him. Press play. So, with that being said, he was like, okay, but if you don't want to race me, I have a guy over here that has a CTSV. He'll race me. And so I'm looking, I'm like, why is this dude really pressed or trying to get me to race? But okay, and this is my thing. This is how I think. I come from a different background. You understand me? Whatever, however you want to word that, however you want to take that, however you want to perceive that, I come from a different background. So if somebody keeps trying to press me to do something, automatically my antennas go up automatically it's a red flag to me because why are you trying to press me to do something that for one i didn't ask to do so it's like stuff like that kind of throw a little red flags for me like i said i come from a different backgrounds so it's just like and maybe he didn't really mean no harm by it but like i said for me i take that as a red flag because you know what i'm saying i come from a different background things have happened in, in the past where it's been but maybe one day we'll do a story time on, on my old life but YouTube saved my life. We just gonna say that. So, press play. So the guy was just like, okay, cool. I said, I'm like, I mean, okay, I said, where, where y'all racing it? You know what I'm saying? He told me where they're racing. I said, cool, you know what I'm saying? We'll probably, we'll probably pull up. You understand me? So I'm talking to him and like, so me and him, like, we was on the same type of time. Like, neither one of us like big on racing. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, so I was telling him, I'm like, bro, this dude trying to get us through, trying to get me to race. You know what I'm saying? So he's just like, he's like, okay, like we can go, we can go watch. If I ain't gonna race, I'm just like, it's the same thing as me. I wanna watch, I wanna see it. But I'm not racing though. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then it, it was my night off from work too. So it's just like I'm really trying to cause my at that time I was off on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So at that time, I'm like, bro, I'm trying to enjoy my little old, I'm trying to enjoy my little old day off. So whatever what they were, if we outside and we outside with it. So cool. No problem. Say less. So I'm like, okay, cool. Well, we'll go. We're going to pull up. I didn't tell a guy that, but I'm just like, we're going to go, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, we'll pull up and we'll check, check them boys out. So it was like, I know it was me, Hemi Life, Callaway, this other guy. It was probably like, besides me, Hemi Life, Callaway, and one other guy, it was probably like two more of us that went. So it was like, bro, about six or seven of us total that went. So the meet over. We all go to the event. I mean, not the event, but the race spot. So let me tell you how the race spot actually was set up. I'm not gonna get an actual location away because people still race there. But the location is in between some warehouses, like in a little duck off, but in between some warehouses. And it's literally one way in, one way out. Red flag for me, because we already doing something illegal. This, and this is how I am, this is how I am. So I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. 
I'm an Aquarius, so I overthink everything. But not even just overthink, it just, I'm very observant. That's why people like, people don't know that about me. Like, I'm very observed. Like, if I go into a crowd of people, I don't like being in a crowd of people because if I can't, like, detect, like, some kind of movement or wait out if something happens, like, that's just how I think. Like, I think, like, okay, boom. If this jump off, I need to be able to get here or move here or be able to do this. So, if I'm in a situation where I can't do something to get out of a certain situation, I don't like it. So, I'm thinking, boom, we doing something illegal. If the police come, we have absolutely no way of getting out. I'm already uncomfortable, bro. Already uncomfortable. So, again, just coming from a different background of life, you feel me? So, it's just like, I don't like being in no situation where I can't maneuver if need be. You know what I'm saying? I don't, want, I don't, I don't never want to be a sitting duck. Like, it's because the only thing the police have to do is really block off that interest and we all over with. You feel me? So, but I probably going to take my hair cut right through the grass. I ain't going to lie to you. I going to dry that boy i'm gonna be y'all see fast and furious nine i'm gonna be uh, in the grass like this doing this but anyway so boom we get there it's probably like it's probably like not including us it's probably like eight to ten other people there that was getting ready to race so they race people racing so the ctsv that he was talking about ends up getting up there a race almost loses control of the entire car Almost loose, almost wrecked his stuff out there. The, and I looked at, I looked at him. And I said, "Bro, that's exactly why I'm not racing, bro. That's, that's exactly why I'm not racing. I don't want to go ahead and wreck my car, not for no street race anyway. I'm not betting no money. Ain't nobody making no money off of it. So I mean, I'm fin I'm not recording it. So I mean, I'm finna possibly lose my car over saying that I lost or won a race." Absolutely not. If it don't make money, it don't make sense to me. You feel me? And that didn't make sense to me at all, not even a little bit. So, cool. They raced, almost, lose, almost lost the car, so I said, cool, that's why I'm not racing. So the guy that invited me, or that told me to race, let me, let me explain to y'all. I'ma continue, I'ma continue. So the, he invited me, you know what I'm saying? So he, at, he walked up to it, he's like, hey, y'all racing? I said, nah, we probably gonna race, bro, we just gonna watch. And so he says something like kind of slick, like, dang, y'all y'all scared? Well, I'm just like, no, nah, no, nah, we ain't scared, we, we just can't watch. And so he was just like, why don't you race? We just came to watch, you know what I'm saying? So he gets in his car, he goes and race. He wins his race. So he drives like a little 5.0 at the time, it was like a little 5.0. Uh, I think it was a 5.0. It's a Mustang, needless to say. Um, drive a little Mustang, you know what I'm saying? He goes out there, races, all right? Races his car. He gets super, super hyped. Like, I guess after he won his race, I guess that was like the turn up time for him. So he come back. I'm talking about he's hype. Yeah, yeah, you guys come out here. You guys didn't come out here to race. What are you guys doing? You guys just taking up time. You just taking a spray. You want to come race? And he doing like all of this though. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he doing a bunch of these though. Like, you know, like pointing. You feel me? And I'm not like, hey, hey, hey bro, that, I, don't point your finger in my face. Like, I used to get in trouble like that. When I was a kid, and my mama used to do me like that, so I just don't. It's pet peeve. Like don't, don't put. And y'all just you should, shouldn't do that to no grown person. You definitely shouldn't do that to no man. Like you're not finna do this to no another man, and it, and just think you just finna have a, a field trip. When not with me, you feel me? Like anybody else, I don't know, but not with me. So cool. Moving on. He did that. He hyped. Y'all know y'all guys came out like, yelling, bro, to the top of his lungs, yelling. I'm like, bro, like, bro, 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 hey, whoa, bro, get. Get your finger out of my face, bro. So I'm mad now. Well, let me tell you why I got mad though. Besides that, but let me tell you why I got mad. So after that, he's yelling and pointing in everybody's face. Well, directly me though. I tried to say something, and before I could get out my response or my rebuttal to his pointing, he hurried up and jumped in his car and drove off. So now I didn't get to so I didn't get to res res I didn't get to respond to him. So I'm looking at Callaway. Callaway is mad, bro. Callaway's already mad. Like, Callaway is the one, like, my dog, he the one you bring, bro, if you be like, hey, bro, I gotta go, I gotta go fight somebody, bro. He's the one you call. So Callaway mad at this point. So I'm like, bro, he just, I said, no, nah, bro, as soon as he get out the car, Cause now I'm now I'm madder than what I was because like I said he didn't let me say nothing back to him. If I would have got to say something back to him, 
I probably wouldn't have been as mad, but he didn't let me rebuttal myself. I couldn't defend myself, so I'm mad now. Like, you ain't let me say nothing back. If you would just stood there and let me say something back, we probably wouldn't have no problem, but he didn't let me. So now it's a bigger problem because the more I don't see you, the more the matter I'm getting. You feel me? So he goes and he races. And so I'm telling Cal, I said, bro, as soon as he come back, bro, we finna have a problem. Like, it, it's a problem now. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not going to yell and point at me. Like, you don't yell at me and then don't point at me. And you definitely not going to do both. Don't yell and point at me. So he get done racing. He still, he get out. He he he's still hype. I said, no. Nah. I said, no. Nah, come here. Come here. Let's go let's on talk like men. So let me tell you how this, let me, let me show y'all how this look. Let me show you how this look. Let me move my camera up, because I need y'all to see exactly how this look. Okay, bam. Because that's this by how it was. So this, this, this me. This me. You can see me. So I'm 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 here watching the race. He walks up. He came to about right here to me. Came to about right here. But I'm looking like this because he's this goddamn tall. He big, if you seen Creed 2, that's what we looked like. I'm this tall, I'm like 6'2", so he was all of a good 6'4", 260, 270 pounds. I'm one, I was probably like 175 at this time. Ish. You understand me? So, he's here to me. So I'm talking, but I'm talking like looking up. So if anything jump off, I gotta like, you understand me? I gotta swing, you know, I gotta swing up, you know, I gotta look like Ryu, you know what I'm saying me with the how do you kick, you know what I'm saying? You did what I'm saying, so cool. He counts about right here. I said, hey bro, I'm like you you not gonna put your hand in my face, bro. Like, that's what we're not gonna do. You feel me? Now, first thing, so he's like, oh well, you laughed at my car. Pause. So again, he took me smiling all the time, as y'all know, as me laughing at his car. Press play. I said, bro, nobody laughed at your car. I said, bro, first of all, I don't get, at this point, I'm mad. I said, bro, I don't give a damn about your car. I said, I don't give a damn about your car. I said, well, cool, even better. So, I used a lot more hostile words, but for the purpose of the video, I ain't gonna use those words. So, just, if you watch BET, and you see the movie on BET, how instead of using the N word, they say brother. Picture that. So we heard. So once he said, I don't give a damn about your car, that was a perfect opportunity for me to act the way I felt on the inside. I was like, okay, cool, perfect. It, even better. You understand know me? F the car. Okay, so what you trying to do? Because at this point, you didn't put your hand in my face and you near it. I said, you know what? I said, Mark. I said, matter of fact, I said, bro, I knock your big ass out. Let's just go and cut to the table right now. I said, we're going to fight right here, and we're going to get over with. You understand me? Because we ain't going to keep doing all this. So at this time, whoever his homeboy was to step in between us, he like, hey, like, oh, bro, chill, 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 ain't like that. I said, no, nah, it is like that. So you can move to it. I said, it's like that, though. Like, so what you trying to do? So at this time, now Buddy is walking off. The, the, the guy I was talking to, like, and he was like some big... He was white. I mean, but it, that don't have nothing to do with the video, but it just painted the picture. So, you know what I mean? So, I told him, like, he, he's a, a big, like, cornbread fan, like, you know what I mean? Like, he wasn't like, uh, but he was like, uh, you feel me? Like, he wasn't like, he was big, but he wasn't like strong big. He was just like, cornbread fan big, you know? Like, Y'all get what I'm trying to say, bro. Like, but needless to say, he was bigger than me. That, that's the picture that I'm trying to paint for y'all. So I told my, you know what I'm saying? I said what I had to say. So I didn't know that his girlfriend and or wife was over there. I didn't know that. I mean, it probably, it probably still wouldn't change how I felt. It probably would have made it worse for him because I would have got even more madder if I felt like, oh, you're doing this in front of your lady. So I'm, it's probably a good thing that I didn't know that. But press play. So. He walking out, I said, God damn, gangsta, where you going? Like you had a whole bunch to say earlier. Now you don't now you don't want to talk to me. You know what I'm now you don't want to talk to me once I said let's fight. So he walking off. So I guess his lady said something to him about me. So at this time, Callaway girlfriend was with him at the time. This was a long time ago. Long, long time ago. 
So this this back when I had the skyline on the side. So the girl says some Callaway girlfriend at the time was just like, okay, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so what she wanna do? Cause she can get drugged too. So I'm, I'm really ready to rock and roll now because I got me some bag up. So that means I can whoop him, she can whoop her, and we gonna just roll rum. So I'm talking, but now I'm, I'm really mad, bro. Now I'm really ready to go. So I'm just like, okay, well, I'm, I'm like, damn, so so you, we not gonna fight, we just gonna, you just gonna walk off? So he walked off, he, he getting his car. He getting his car. So, he ended up getting his car, bro, and ended up just basically like, I think he ended up doing another race. But we ended up leaving, though. Needless to, needless to say, we ended up leaving. But that, reasons like that, bro, that's why I don't go to, one of the reasons why I don't go to races, bro, because people get too sensitive behind their car. I, I get it, but you shouldn't be that sensitive about your car. I'm not sensitive about my car. Like, if somebody say they don't like my rap, like my rims, or think my Hellcat slow. I'm not gonna be upset. You feel me? I'm gonna be like, well, damn. I mean, I, I hate that you don't like it, but I mean, you know, kind of is what it is. You feel me? I guess if you don't like my car, that's a good thing that it's not your car because that will suck. So it's just like I'm not sensitive about you know what I'm saying. Somebody not liking my car, but Buddy was a little too sensitive about his car. For the fact, I don't know if somebody beat him before or somebody said they don't like it or whatever, but. He took me smiling all the time. As a gesture that I was laughing at his car, which absolutely wasn't wasn't the case. I'm, for one, I'm too big on respect to laugh in somebody's face about their car, like, cause I just feel like I'm not better than nobody. You know what I'm saying? Just cause I have a Hellcat, you got a Mustang, that don't make me better than you or nothing like that. So it's just like, and plus at that time, like, <clears throat> I was learning the game about, you know what I'm saying, racing. Like, I know a lot of people with, naturally aspirated cars like racing people that are supercharged because for one more than likely especially if you don't got no slicks on nine times out of ten it's going to be a minute before you even hook coming off the line so of course people like to pick on hellcats because more likely a, a naturally aspirated car will come off the line faster than a hellcat would if they don't have on slicks or anything like that especially especially for stock too because it's hard for us to put the power to the ground so it's just like I get it. so it's just like I definitely didn't underestimate his car. I'm pretty sure like, I'm pretty sure like, okay if he's asking me to race then more than likely it's more to the story than what he's trying to make it seem like. So I'm just like cool bro but you feel me like you just shouldn't be that sensitive but he he was gonna he, he was gonna he was gonna have a problem on his hands though. I ain't he was gonna have a problem on his hand. You feel me? He was gonna have to see me. And it wasn't even about the car, it was the fact of principle. Like as a man, bro, you're not gonna you're not gonna you're not gonna talk to me that way. That's the that's the thing. You're not gonna talk to me that way. Now, whoever is in your corner, you may be able to talk to them or treat them or yell at them any kind of way. I don't know if that's like a. I don't want to say that, but I don't know if it's like a, a a them kind of thing. But that's just not a me thing, you know. Like especially if I don't know, you know, like if you get around your homeboy, y'all can kind of yell at each other, talk a little noise, or whatever, and it'd be no problem. But if I don't know you, you don't got you don't got that option. So you gonna have to talk to me too with a little bit, little bit respect. You feel me? So if he if he's watching this video, if you ever see this video, brother got to come me with a little bit of respect, brother. Otherwise, we won't have the same problem. But like I said, I, I don't act like I'm some tough guy or nothing like that. I don't act like I can walk around and beat everybody up because I know I can't. I was always taught if you think you're the baddest person, best believe in somebody always better than you. And I I know that for 100 percent fact. There's always a bigger fish in the sea. You know what I'm saying? I mean, everybody think they Billy Badass until they run into Billy Badass. So I don't ever think or underestimate anybody. I just I'm just big on respect. You know what I'm saying? I'm not even saying I probably would have beat him up. You feel me? Cause he was he was a big guy. The 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 moral of the story is he's gonna have to show me that. Cause I'm I don't tolerate disrespect. Like you're not gonna disrespect me. You feel me? So I don't know, bro. That's just me. But um, that is a quick little story time, man. I had to come over here and tell and share with y'all, man. Cause like I said, the, my people be on live on Instagram, be going crazy. And they be telling me I need to start doing more story times. Um, so I asked them just like, do I think I, do y'all think I need to do video story time? They was just like, do video story times for YouTube. So I said, okay, cool. Well, boom. I mean, you understand me? Here we go. You dig what I'm saying? So. That is a wrap for this video, man. I appreciate y'all, man. If y'all want more story time, let me know that. 
What did I just say, bro? Let me know down in the comments below if y'all want more story time, man. I got y'all. Uh, and this whole, what, two and a half years of me doing YouTube, bro, I didn't came across with life in general, but during me doing YouTube, I've come across a lot of crazy, crazy story times, bro. Uh, so, yeah, I think I'm going to start dropping them. I'm going to try to drop one once a week, one story time a week. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I might do, like, a, a double drop day, or I may just pick a day, and that'd be, like, my story time day, like, every, what's today, Friday. I may make, like, every Friday. You know what I'm saying? My story times. Or I may just, you know, regularly drop a video and then later on that night, drop a boom. Story. Exactly. I said, I knew y'all were smart, bro. That's why y'all rock with me. But, <sighs> thirsty, bro. But that is a wrap for this video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it, man. Make sure I hit that like button, that post notification bell, and make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. We're going up all 2021, the rest of 2021. We ain't got long left in, the year, in this year. So we definitely going to turn up and go crazy, man. So, like I always in every last one of my videos, man, whoever told you the sky limit, they lied to you because we know absolutely no limit whatsoever, man. So let's get this money. Ah. Chef said I got to kill this.